Today we're going to show you a six step tutorial on how to change a crystal doorknob. You'll also learn how to remove an old doorknob and install a new one. Stay to the end for the closet door. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is Darius of DIY Power Couple. And today we're going to change out this doorknob. This is for a girl's bedroom makeover. So we're going to change out the doorknob in the front of the bedroom. And we're also going to change out the closet bedroom doorknob. Here we go. So we have the other part. So this is what they're going to look like right now. Let me take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off and put the other one on. This is a Phillips head screwdriver that I'm going to use to take off this doorknob. You have some screws right here in the front that you can remove. So you can take those off, unscrew the left and right screws that are attaching both sides of these doorknobs together. You can see they're both together right here, but they're getting loose now because I'm unloosing them. So we pulled out one of the screws. Here's the other screw. This is what it looks like. So you can see that. Now all you have to do, you can actually separate it by just pulling it out like that. You pull it and now you can unscrew that right here, right there. And then we can push this out. So what I did was, let me look at my hand, my fingers. See my finger right there? My finger right here? I pushed it out. Now there's no more door lock or knob. So I took all of the screws and I placed them all over here together and grab these. This one has the lock on the inside right there. That's the lock. It should be on the inside of the door so that you can lock it from the inside right there. You can see that. And here's the part that I took off earlier right there. And here are the other screws for the other plate. What we're going to do is we're going to set this part in. And when you're putting this into your door, make sure that when your door is closing, our door closes this way. So that means that the flat part needs to go in that way, like there, so that it hits the door and it closes like that. You see that? See, it's flat. You get the the hard part right here. You don't want to put it in this way because then when the door shuts, it's not going to close. It'll just hit that part right there. You want to turn it around this way so that when it shuts, it shuts that way like that. So we're going to stick it in here. We're going to take the screws, the actual screws right here. These are two screws like that. And We'll stick them in here, one at a time. Right there. We'll get our screwdriver and, and we screw it. Probably have to hold the door so it doesn't move around on us like that. Like that. So we're gonna screw it in right there, just like this. You gotta get it nice and tight. And we'll do this one right here. We'll get it nice and tight so that it doesn't come apart when we're opening and shutting our door. There we go. I'm going to grab this part right here, this little bar. I'm going to take this bar and we're going to stick it inside of this black little square hole like that. See that? So we're going to stick it in there and we'll take this lock
glued it right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two knobs, these two screws right here, we're going to take those and set them into the shorter two. Let's see here, there's one that's long, this is long right here, we're going to use the other two that are shorter and we're going to screw these in to each side like that. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it. Like that. And it looks like for this, we're actually going to need another piece, another tool. We're going to use this crescent wrench to tighten it. And the reason I'm using the crescent wrench is because I didn't want to strip it. So, because I actually have some pliers. I have some pliers right here as well. But the pliers, if you're not strong, if you don't use a strong grip, you can actually uh, strip it or at least put marks on it. And I didn't feel like putting marks on it, so I'm using the crescent wrench to keep it looking nice. We're getting this screw all the way in. Let's get that down in there. You have to tighten it with this hand. This is how you tighten it with the, the crescent wrench. You loosen it, then you can tighten it, and that's how it works. So if this is your first time using the crescent wrench, it's pretty easy. And I hold on to it sometimes to tighten it. So now both of them are tight. So now what we're going to do is take the hole that was the long hole and we're going to put it inside of here on this piece that's sticking out. So the other two are going to go a little higher. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is hold it with one hand. Let me stick it back in here. I'm going to hold it with one hand and then I'm going to stick the screw in with the other hand. And I'm going to grab my screwdriver. I'm going to screw it in. So we're going to take this screw and we're going to stick it underneath. It's going to take a little bit of arm muscle and wrist muscle, but we've got it. There we go. We're getting it kind of tight. You still have to do this one to make it tight as well. Look at that. Let's lock it like that. So, let's see. You can't open it and you push it like that, but if you turn it now, you can open it. Pretty nice. So hey guys, we're also we're also going to replace the plate for the doorknob. So we're gonna take this one off because we have a silver one and we're replacing this brass one with a silver one. So there's one screw. And here's the other screw that we're taking off right now. There we go. So we're taking that off and we're putting this one on. So we're replacing the brass with the silver. There we 
There we go. So we grab the silver screws, place this one in here first. Seems like this one is a really good fit. So we're going to start off with this one. this one on the top. So now we're going to test out the door by going inside the room instead of outside. What I'm going to do is grab this door, test it out, make sure that it actually will shut. Oh, it's perfect. That was nice. Look at that. It's perfect. Now you're done. The first knob is a diamond knob on her main door, which is called a privacy doorknob, which allows her to lock it. The second diamond doorknob is on her closet door. This is for interior doors and it has no lock on it. Hey YouTube family, check out all of the links in the description so you can install this doorknob and be inspired by our other DIY projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.